Many preservation projects often require adapting buildings to new uses and sensitively incorporating new construction into existing historic fabric. At Boston College, St. Clement's Hall, an Archdiocesan chapel, was converted into the college's main data center. The main space was transformed to house over 800 servers and storage devices that run operations from email to course registration. Working within an existing historic space often posed challenges, but the dedicated team understood the importance of both the data center and the building to the school. The result is an amazing and unique reuse for St. Clement's Hall. At Harvard University Law School, three late 19th century historic houses were moved to help the school reclaim the corner of Massachusetts Avenue and Mellon Street in Cambridge. The school worked closely with the Cambridge Historical Commission in moving and reciting these buildings, which had lost their previous historic context. The houses were moved down the street, recited to create a courtyard effect, and now complete the 19th century character previously lost on this corner, while also providing dorm space for law school students. The Judd Gymnasia is the oldest building on the campus of Springfield College and bears the school's earliest name, the YMCA Training School. Over the years, the building housed academic and recreational programs, but issues of age and functionality began to cast doubt on its usefulness. The school decided to renovate and repurpose rather than demolish. The project removed previous Band-Aid renovation efforts, preserved the tile in the former pool room, and created new interior space to accommodate the college's Office of YMCA Relations and a new Springfield College Museum. What was once an eyesore is now, once again, a revitalized center of campus activity. The campus of Brimmer and May School is embedded in a well-established residential neighborhood, making growth a challenge. Creative thinking regarding an old residential barn led to the construction of the Corkin Visual Arts Center. The school worked closely with the community to support a design that would preserve the spirit and modest scale of the original barn, as it was not able to be restored due to its deteriorated condition. But adhering to the original concept, the building is one that now serves the students and retains the essence and memory of the historic barn. Berkshire School's Old Berkshire Building is a classical revival-style academic building that quickly became the heart of the school's campus when it was completed in 1931. The intent of its restoration sought to solve many programmatic issues while introducing new sustainable design and practices. Exterior stucco was replaced, slate roofing repaired, and the interior fabric restored and repaired as well. A new addition with state-of-the-art classrooms, offices, and labs was sensitively incorporated into Old Berkshire in a manner complementary to its design. The project has fostered a new sense of community within the school and, according to the head of school, has elevated the spirits and inspired learning. As education is ever-changing, planning for future growth while stewarding the resources that a school already has is a challenge. At Emanuel College, Growth in the 1950s resulted in an array of renovations that resulted in the loss of its historic building's character, campus connection, or cohesive interactions among students and faculty. Acknowledging this, the school sought a revival through a campus concept that would take economic advantage of its location in the heart of Boston's Longwood Medical Area, create a master plan to guide academic facility development, and guide the architecture of future buildings and honor the historic administration building as the symbolic center of the campus. Since the concept's adoption, its principles have been put into action and the resulting restorations honor the college's mission and celebrates its new vitality and focus on the future. Founded in 1843 in its present location overlooking Worcester, the College of the Holy Cross's compact campus boasts 31 buildings and is also a registered arboretum with 600 species of trees and meticulously maintained grounds. Since 2001, the school has made capital investments of over $132 million to not only add buildings, but extensively renovate their existing spaces. Projects like Smith Hall, which abuts two historic buildings in the campus center, 
are designed to link the campus and students between academics and social life. The college's appreciation for its historic roots and resources is visible in its approach to their care and utilization as they look to the future for their student population. At Amherst College, historic buildings are seen as an asset that can be renovated to respond to program needs and 21st century challenges, while retaining their character and integrity. The college has undertaken a number of projects that incorporate systems upgrades and the blending of new and old in such a way that these buildings are adapted for another century of continued use. A combined approach of interior preservation and exterior envelope improvements has been undertaken on the Mayo, Smith, Seeley, and Hitchcock houses for residents, while work on the Scott House restored a historic landmark and the southern entrance to the campus, to the benefit of the community, the college, and the students. The commitment of these schools often extends beyond their traditional campus walls into the greater community. Since 2000, the Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences has purchased and restored properties to create a campus in downtown Worcester. Their presence has led to a new vibrancy and ongoing revitalization in the city center that has brought students downtown, created jobs, and made the school an important part of this urban neighborhood. The school's adaptive reuse of existing buildings has marked it as a great community partner with both the city and other institutions. The school's dedication to their Worcester campus has had a ripple effect, and City Manager Michael O'Brien stated, President Monaghan's investment in his hometown of Worcester, coupled with his expansion plans for the near future, is a validation of this city's hard work to become a premier health care destination. Just as dedicated to their communities, the University of Massachusetts, Dartmouth, and Bristol Community College have had a tremendous impact on the urban fabric of downtown New Bedford with the restoration of the Star Store building. With help from local partners and State Senator Mark Montigny, the restoration project quickly became a catalyst for economic and cultural development within the city. Senator Montigny recalled the opposition that believed rehabbing the Star Store was neither practical nor worth the investment. But he understood, like many others, not what the abandoned building was, but what it could be. And 10 years later, it is recognized as the catalyst that began the revitalization of a sleepy commercial district by bringing in students and artists of all ages and transforming downtown New Bedford into a thriving arts and cultural center. Building up the foundation of education for their students, these schools have given Massachusetts a remarkable reputation with the number and diversity of institutions that call our state home. These schools, from preparatory to college, make education possible, available, and attainable for an ever-growing and ever-changing student body. They pride themselves on the achievement of their institution and their students, past, present, future. And tonight and onward, they should pride themselves on their contributions to their own past, present, and future through their dedication and commitment to historic preservation within their educational identity. They have proven that preserving history with an eye toward the future goes hand in hand with the forward momentum of education. And the project honored here will hopefully inspire more schools to rise to the creative challenge, continue the evolution of our preservation education, and to never stop believing. Stop.